<laughs> oh my god, you look so good. Turn your toes just a smidge forward for me. Great job of keeping your back open and standing up straight. You know that face emoji with the smoke coming out? Yeah. <laughs> That's the uh, feels right now. Uh, okay, let's go through it again. I'm gonna want to see you walk to the back. Yeah. Nice and full. Wow. Jeez Louise. Transition to the back. Yep, yep. Yeah, okay. Okay. You can to the back. And take three steps to the back. So good. All right, we're gonna do the same thing oh, again today okay. yeah. for food. Okay. But I want to see you probably midday after two meals. Okay. And then kind of see where we are. Yeah. That's good. Girl. God damn. Come on, national. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can't believe it. So. You guys just saw my check-in with Jordan, and I'm feeling good. Um, only thing I need to do at this point is use the restroom and all is well. Today, I'm just chilling, so no training, no cardio. Um, we're still doing 200 grams of carbs today, and that's it. So, yeah, one day out. It is a beautiful day in uptown Charlotte, North Carolina, my city where I live, where I've been living, my home for what? How old is my goddaughter? She's turning 16, so 15 years. Wow. Amp hey, fam, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. Are y'all ready? For this show day vlog, we are less, less, less than 24 hours out, y'all. If you have not seen my peak week vlog, it is the vlog before this. And then the video before that vlog was my stage glam trial and um, a couple of past stage glam mistakes. I talked about what to do, what not to do. So check that out. Right now it is 12 18. I've just been chilling all day. Already did my check-in with Jordan, so I'll go ahead and pop that in. If you saw my peak week vlog, then you've already seen this, but I'll pop that in. I've had one meal so far. I am probably gonna have a second meal here in a moment, and then she's gonna take a look at me again. So today is just a very, very chill day. No cardio, no training, just relaxing, eating 200 grams of carbs, and um, I haven't done anything like I've just been doing some editing and hanging out in the hotel room but the carbs you guys have 
like just blown my shoulders up. I was like, whoa, okay. So 200 grams of carbs going down today. Right now I'm just, I need some movement. So I'm going to actually walk over to Starbucks. It's not far, get a little walk, fresh air, enjoy the day. And then I'm gonna come back and chill. So not too much going on today, but tomorrow that's when all the action happens. So I will probably, yeah, I'll record my next check-in for you guys so you can see what I'm looking like. Okay, so this massive building right here, <laughs> that is the Charlotte Convention Center. That is where the competition is held. So uptown, little glimpse, that's the hotel, host hotel. And we are just walking up to Starbucks, which is right around the corner up here. And this is also good too because moving my body around just a tish, you know, a little movement. So just had my second check-in of the day. These carbs are insane, man. Insane. So now I am just about to eat again. Um, gonna chill, do some editing. And then, oh yeah, that's right. So I'm doing DIY tan this time, which this is my first time doing it. I helped Jordan with hers for the Arnold. So now I feel confident about it. And of course she's here. So if I need any additional help, she's gonna help me do that. So yeah, it's almost time. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go help Dakota in a moment with her hair. She's got her clip-in extensions. Just gonna trim them, curl it up for her really quickly. But I forgot. <laughs> I was supposed to do this in the Peak Week vlog. I have some questions from Instagram and we're gonna go through them. So, first question I have. Not a question, just wanted to say that you inspire me. April, you were so, so sweet. Um, I know that I was put on this earth to help others, um, inspire, motivate, and create. That's my mission. So anytime, so anytime someone says, Amber, you know, you inspire me, you motivate me, that makes me feel so good just simply because that's my duty on this earth, you know? So it's way deeper than me. It's beyond me when you're operating in your gifts and what the Lord told you to do, it just, it hits different. So April, I appreciate that. Uh, let's see, favorite and least, favorite and least fave parts of 
peak week from the homie alexis of fit adams follow her on instagram make sure you hit her up if you need any posing bikini and wellness favorite parts of prep is just when you are able to actually start seeing the progress i love that i love the grind i love the hustle my least favorite parts are definitely peak week the depletion period just simply because it was really really difficult for me to work and i've learned a valuable lesson on p week i need to take off from the salon just simply because i do not have the energy so that was definitely my least favorite part um another one from alexis what emotions do you feel as the week goes on oh my gosh my emotions like i was hyped and then I was like, oh my gosh, my spirit's broken. My period got came on, period stopped. So we're, we're good now, it's over. Um, and then I went through the phase of nerves. That was yesterday, right? And then today, like I'm calm. I'm just kind of like, okay, let's just, let's get it popping. Let's, let's do the damn thing. So super happy about that. Um, from my teammate, Brittany, What's the biggest change in your workouts from off season to prep? Um, so there's not really any biggest changes with my, well, okay, back up. I'll say this. So for off season, it was definitely really, really focusing on the glutes. We had to build the glutes. I had enough fuel in me. Calories are up. So therefore, hold on. That AC has got to get turned off because mama is, guess not. Um, so focusing on heavy compound movements, growing the glutes, and then once we got into prep, still doing that, but I also had some quad work just simply because I don't have any quads. My quads are very, very small, which that's actually kind of beneficial for a bikini just simply because I am not a quad dominant girl. So focusing on quads more so in prep, which was nice. I gotta move away because that AC, that fan right there is cold. Okay. Um, then also, you look amazing. I hope you really enjoy yourself on stage because you deserve it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I promised myself this season I am going to love show day. In the past, show day was always my least favorite part of prep. However, I've done all the work. I've got good guidance. It's just like having a coach that really pours into you and believes in you. Game changer. So, yes, yes, yes. Um, did you change a lot in your prep routine? If so, what did you do differently? Top two things. Um, the only thing that changes in my prep routine is that I have cardio. So when I'm not in prep, I don't do cardio. Cardio is a tool that is used for prep. Now I know everybody is different. Some girls do cardio in off season. For me personally, we don't do that off season and that's the thing like I don't even like the term off season because it gives the wrong idea some people can think that oh well you can know you don't have to go to the gym or you can just eat whatever and it's like no like I'm still on I still have goals you know um my coach knows my goals we've talked about it we know what we're doing so um cardio and yeah that's the only thing that true well you know food goes down <laughs> in prep but that's the only thing um, my show is in 13. My show is 13 weeks away. What is the cutoff time to get a facial or two? So for this, I would say two weeks prior to your show. You don't want to get a facial the week of just simply because it's going to depend on also what type of facial you're getting. So if you're getting something that's really, really invasive, maybe like some sort of chemical peel, I would maybe say three weeks just simply because sometimes the redness, you know, you don't want to have to deal with that. What's the first thing you're going to eat post-show? Bacon cheeseburger with avocado and sweet potato fries. That's all I want. I'm good. <laughs> um, let's see. Please address how you prepare for, for prevent being stank all day show day. Okay, so here's my little secret. Um, so before you tan, you know, they tell you don't put on deodorant, yada, yada, yada. So right before I tan, I always shower because once the tan on, there's no showering. And I'm not gonna lie, I do cheat. I put on a little deodorant and some people might be like, oh my God, I've done it all three shows and it was never an issue. So I'm just saying, <laughs> because I'm a sweater, um, especially when I get nervous and just backstage is so funky, especially if it's a competition where, you know, if men, if the men are competing as well, those bodybuilders, whoo. And then Buff Bell, my girl Rachel, who is a pro, she's competing tomorrow in the pro 
portion. What is your favorite part of prep? My favorite part of prep, like I said earlier, just the process, you know, just the grind, the hustle. Like I'm a workhorse, I like to work, but that can also backfire because, you know, you can burn yourself out. Let's see, and then I had a couple of more questions. How to burn belly fat? So this is a loaded question just simply because you can't spot reduce there's no way you can do that so you can't just say okay i only want to lose fat in my belly so when you are on a fitness journey a weight loss journey you have to understand that think of it this way so wherever you are leanest at where you hold the least body fat those areas are going to get leanest the first you're going to notice that you just have to be consistent and stick with your nutrition because a lot of people think that you can out train a poor diet you can't do that so if you're just you know eating trash and going to the gym you're really doing yourself a disservice you need to make sure that your nutrition is on point and i know it's not a sexy answer i know it's not you know something that's magical but legit you just got to stay consistent and stick with it get a coach get some guidance that'll help you as well to keep you accountable from Amanda, how do you balance your Cosmo career plus bodybuilding? Killing it, queen, see you in Charlotte. Thank you, Amanda. Amanda is also a hairstylist and she's a competitor. She's beautiful, she's stunning. Yeah, so balancing my Cosmo career and bodybuilding, it, it's definitely on my salon days, that is my focus, my salon days. On non-salon days, that I can focus on other aspects of my business. Of course, once in prep, I gotta get my cardio done, gotta train. Like the training, like that's non-negotiable. That has to get done when I'm in prep. Of course, if I'm not in prep, I do have a little bit more wiggle room, but still the goal is to always grow in the off season. So, you know, I just kind of auto-regulate from there, but it's definitely hard, but I'm a planner. So therefore I plan out, I wake up every morning, I make my to-do list, I look at what I need to do. I have my top three priority things and I go from there. It's not always easy. I do have moments where I crumble. Like you guys, I've had a lot of moments where I have been stressed out. I have been worried. Just I'm working on a lot of things in my career right now, my beauty business, and it's daunting, it's stressful. However, I know at the end of the year, all is going to be well but you know just a matter of just taking it one step at a time and just planning things out that helps me a ton do your calories drop day do your calories drop daily drastically this week for peak week yeah peak week they dropped pretty big um that 20 grams of fat a day yeah i felt that and the carb drop i felt it but you have to we had to deplete, you know what I mean? Got to get a little flat, so we started filling up and things are, are looking good. Who's your favorite Libra? You, Susie. You know that, girl, asking rhetorical questions. My teammate, my teammates are a trip. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> From Britt, no question. Just know you're bomb and I'm rooting for you. Thank you so much, Brittany. Oh, and then another one of my teammates, my girl, Maria. Girl, you're going to win the overall and take everything. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best. <laughs> and I believe that is all. Yep, that is all the questions. So we're going to go do a little hair. of tan is on oh there she is number five in the world what's good oh! hey! <laughs> this is not about me, uh, there, there she is this is about there she is you yes yes but you are a huge chunk as to why we are where we are right now so i can't wait to see you tomorrow we're gonna be lit we're gonna get ready to go to bed I've got my first coat of tan on. Oh my goddamn ass. I did oh the <laughs> did the DIY. <laughs> we switched places. <laughs> yeah, she she got all the booty now. <laughs> Look at those glutes. Oh. 
Yes, well, glutes. No, there's. Uh, yeah. We're working on the ghetto booty now. <laughs> She's, she's got a very, very short break, and then she's got to start prep for the O, oh, the Olympia. That is the Super Bowl for bodybuilders. Face done by? One and only. Amber P. Y'all should see this look she got cooking up for tomorrow, though. They've already seen it, because the trial went up today. Oh, well, you guys got a little teasy tease. Yeah. No, but let's gonna look you, a little different though. But let me tell you about this transformation she about to do from universe to Tamagbo. <laughs> Shit, let me go make my oats. Let yeah, my yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna get, when we get these stage shots, of course, I'll do like a follow up for show day or whatnot. But you guys, I have already, I've been beat my last look. So. That within itself is huge. And then tomorrow is just gonna, you know, seal the deal. So we're gonna get ready to hit the sack. And when I see you tomorrow, we're gonna be all glammed and ready to roll. Okay, so, so talk to me about the final thoughts and feelings and emotions the night before after 17 months of thinking about this moment every single day and mm -hmm. breath of your existence since your last time on stage. Yeah, that's, that's deep, that's heavy, that's loaded because I've been mad for 17 months. That's why your last build all that goddamn muscle. Well, you've been mad as hell in the gym. I've been mad for 17 months just simply because like When I was contemplating, like even playing with the idea of competing, I was going back and forth because I had been exposed to it through a client first in 2017. She was doing a bikini competition. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And so I was like, what is she talking about? Let me go see. That was the first time that I ever saw a physique that I felt like I looked like. I was like, wait a second. So instantly I was kind of like, because growing up, I was like the super, super skinny kid. Mm -hmm. I remember first day of eighth grade, I went to go sit at the table. This guy, this boy's like, hey, come sit with me, go sit by yourself. And I'm like, all right, fine. I start eating, he goes, so you're anorexic? And that like shattered my soul. I was like, cause that was the first time anyone had ever like made a comment about my appearance, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I was very just quiet, naive. And I was like, what? Cause that was just so far from the truth. I'm like, no, no, I'm feeding me. So then fast forward high school competitive cheer. I went from being asked, are you anorexic to, are you doing drugs? Are you doing steroids? Because it's a bad spot. And so I bulked up real fast. Mm -hmm. And of course, when I cheered, I was just like, how come I have all this muscle? No one else did. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> How come I don't look like anybody else, mm -hmm. you know? So when I saw that, I saw these women and I was like, you mean to tell me I've been hiding my body since I was 16 years old. Mm -hmm. I didn't become comfortable with my arms until I was 28. Oh. When I started doing hair, I would cover up because I got so tired of women being hyper focused on my arms. Because in my mind, like that's disgusting. You're not supposed to look like that, you know? So when I saw these women, I was like, hold on, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Googled it, of course I got all the bad, it was talking about how horrible it is mm -hmm. for you, it'll ruin you, yada yada yada, and I was like, oh fuck that, I can't do it. Then I was like, I can never be on stage naked, like, cause I'm just very, you know, modest, like. So then, fast forward again, my old coach, was hooking her up for her shows, and I was like, you know what, I can do this, I'm gonna do it. I saw a quote from Simone Biles and it said, God gave me this body for a reason, so I'm gonna use it. Mm -hmm. That resonated with me so hard mm -hmm. because for so long, I was just like, God, why did you make me look like a freak? Like, I no. just wanna, you know, I was like, I just wanna blend in because like people would always make comments about it and like, I don't like being the center of attention. I like being in the background. And so when I read that quote, I was just kind of like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? 
is this my thing? Mm -hmm. Because I've been fighting for a thing for so long because you know, you go from competitive cheer for five years and then I coached gymnastics right after that for seven years. Mm -hmm. So once I got into hair, like all the athletics were ripped away from me and right. I just was yearning for something. something. Belonging. But yeah, it's a sense belonging. of belonging, you know? Yeah. yeah. And so like, I'm cool. I'm always, oh, you know, the black sheep by myself. But I was like, this is the first time where I'm like, I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, this is my fit, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so, like, even when I did have my struggles with, you know, just not being good enough or is this even my thing? The one thing that kept me going was even when I wasn't, like, really strong and confident and believing in myself, I knew in the back of my mind, no, 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 you were made for this. Mm -hmm. So you just got to keep going, mm -hmm. you know? So... Mm -hmm. 17 months i've been telling myself yo you were made for this mm -hmm. you just gotta keep going mm -hmm. so now it's so crazy because i've been waiting and it's felt like forever and i'm a patient person mm -hmm. and that's what i love about your journey so much because you always talk about how 10 years took you 10 years to look like this and it's kind of like i know they don't mean anything but i can see how that could be a little insulting with the instant gratification when girls just like, oh, I, I want it now. And so me, I'm already a patient person, but the 17 months made me exercise a whole new level of patience mm -hmm. to the point where I was like, you know, you wait mm -hmm. and you're okay. Mm -hmm. You're gonna wait for your moment mm -hmm. for the right time. Mm -hmm. Because when I got with you, I had already told myself, you need a year to improve. I knew that mm -hmm. already, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. And so now that the 17 months has passed, it felt like it took forever. But then yesterday I was like, fuck. Here we are. literally filled you out perfectly Yay. filled you out perfectly don't rush it though
is show day and I am just like here we are here we are so hair and makeup are already done um, did a check-in had a meal I feel good because last night going to bed I was just thinking then I woke up I've been up since 4 30 so I was just kind of like oh my gosh but then once I started getting ready it was like let's just let's do the damn thing so I'm gonna put on my last coat of tan run through my posing then I'm gonna sit I'm just gonna chill chill out okay so keep looking at my wrist I don't have my watch on it is 9 17 I'm ready tan suit on hair makeup closing thoughts because now I just have to focus um I woke up feeling good Woke up feeling good, all the hard work is done. It's all done. Now, it's in God's hands. Either way, I know, already won in here and in here. So, <sighs> thank you God for all that I've been through. Thank you Lord for all that you're doing have done and will continue to do. I'm forever grateful, extremely grateful and thankful for everyone, all the love and support. I'm just happy.
walk it back to the center line. So we can see your numbers, please. <laughs> if I could have competitors 202, 252, 227, 231, 229, and 222, exit the stage. Pre-judging is over. I split center. They moved me around a lot. And then they worked us, okay? They worked us. If y'all aren't practicing posing endurance, baby, you need to do so. Um, that is my first order of business next week. We about to crack down on some posing because this is my fourth show ever. Like even when I competed at my first national show, they didn't hold us like this. So posing for sure, we're gonna either way. Um, so we won't know what happens until finals tonight. So it's split up in two portions. So regardless, I feel good. First or second, I feel great. So um, I'll report back after finals. All right, so since we're in between, my lovely model. I'm gonna put a little slight work on her, not too much. What what would you call this look? Just evening soft. Evening, yeah, evening soft glam. Yeah, sweet not heart. too much though. Yeah, sweet, very sweet. Romantic. Yeah, soft glam, very romantic, flirty, you know. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get stuff for her vlogs. 